Hey, this is Matt Thompson from King Diamond, talking to Sick Drummer Magazine. Uh, here's my Neil Peart story. Um, when I was 12, I was already obsessed with Neil Peart. My first album was Permanent Waves in 1979. It was bought for me by my Aunt Susie. Uh, in 82, my dad got me backstage to the Signals tour at the Spectrum in Philadelphia. I was already a rush freak, but that cemented the deal. I was able to stand behind Neil's drum set and watch him and then go to the front row and then have a tour afterwards and check out all this equipment. And then uh, they brought me to the rush after party and I had a Heineken Dark as a 12 year old. It was different times, but uh, it was that night that I decided I was gonna be a drummer or die trying. And I may die trying. And how did his drumming and his way of drumming or uh, how he came up drumming have any influence on your particular drumming as far as... Well, I mean, there's no way to say that it didn't have an influence on my drummer. I mean, drumming. I, I memorized pretty much every song up until Hold Your Fire uh, and played it over and over through my teen years. Had the Rush backstage club patch on my denim jacket, you know. I mean, I was obsessed. I saw Rush 19 times in my life. Oh, wow. They would come and play, back then, they would play two nights in a row, you know, in Philadelphia anyway, because they would sell them both out. And I would go both nights, every tour. It was my church, man. It was my church, my college, my high school, you name it. That's all I cared about. All right, thank you, sir. My pleasure.